Are you ready to go? Ready for departure anytime. I can't believe that. <laughs> An ultimate dream come true for me. This is sitting around the fireplace dreaming big, talking stories with the guys, stuff that never comes to fruition. So being out here checks a big one off the list and it's incredible country. It's beautiful. I mean, look at that. This trip so far has probably been one of the most physically challenging trips just to get in here for me. Uh, everybody's equal on the mountain, that's what I always say. There's not much that doesn't hurt right now, I'll be honest. This has been a pretty awesome experience to see caribou and moose and grizzlies and stuff you don't ever see other than on TV. We finally laid eyes on a ram. back up to the same mountain as yesterday. Everybody's equal on the mountain, that's what I always say. It's between you and yourself, and you really you're just relying so much on yourself to get through different things, whether it be physical or even just mental challenges of hard hiking every day, eating the same food it can be at times, or going without water, or experiencing bad weather for days on end, or not seeing animals sometimes, and yeah, that's uh, all part of it. We've got some really good country over here. It's everything you can want for sheep country. Day four, put on some big miles. He's working hard. Gotta dig deep here and find a ram because you start piling day after day after day. This amount of hiking in it takes a toll on a guy, that's for sure. Legs are burning, feet are hurting, but one step at a time, we'll get there. We'll go find it. Not a ton going on today. It's been hot and super windy, so they're probably tucked away real tight. So this has been a pretty awesome experience to sit up here and really be able to just see caribou and moose and grizzlies and <laughs> stuff you don't ever see other than on TV and get to lay eyes on some, some pretty awesome country. You know, if nothing turns up here tonight, then we have to sit down and really evaluate where we haven't covered and figure out how to go about getting there. They'll turn up. They're here somewhere. Let's get back to camp. Uh, we're making a big push today. We really looked over hard the last block that we were in. This is unbelievable that you walk across some of these places and you don't know when the last time somebody actually was there. We've been <laughs> ridge running and uh, scrambling over rocks and climbing and for the last six hours now. And uh, there's not much that doesn't hurt right now, <laughs> I'll be honest. That's why it's rewarding in the end, really, this mountain hunting, trying to make the most of it and, and push on through today and uh, get to our next camp spot. I live for um, looking at maps and going over and, and finding places that people don't go these days. And I love the challenge of it, and I like to be able to experience that with people, overcome personal challenges, uh, physical, mental. Mountain hunting really does culminate all of those emotions into one experience. This whole experience so far has just been I mean, something new every day and grinding it out and covering a ton of ground, not just with our eyes, but our feet. And it's an incredibly tough hunt, but it's incredibly fulfilling at the same time. We can move to another mountain block here, which opens up a whole new basin to us. It seems to be paying off this morning because... Finally spotted a good band of rams. They're right on the top of this pinnacle peak, and but there isn't anything that's just standing out like, wow, like that's the ram. Pretty excited though, seeing sheep. Bunch of new country, this is totally different than the other side. Lots more water over here, and lots more bugs. There's two rams that are worth looking at. We've watch these rams all day, and we still haven't got a, a great sense of whether the biggest ram is legal or not. So we're gonna head back to camp, get a night's sleep, get up 4.30, get back over here and see if we can't find them. What's the plan? We're only sleeping five, six hours a night, maybe if that, just so we can be up first light glassing and taking advantage of every opportunity we have to find that special ram for Casey. So after getting up here this morning, we found the two biggest rams straight away. Ready, buddy? Thankfully, the weather's pushed them down off the peak, and now they're in the valley. We need to close the distance to get a good look at them and to see if one of them is legal. They're up on the side now. Heading up, babe. Eh? We 
Which patch do you have in that? Uh, that real light, almost lichen-y one. So we just came off this ridge here up behind us where we were glassing this morning, running the whole way down. Came across this basin and we're sitting here up against this ridge trying to age this sheep. Greg and Josh moved up ahead a little closer. So we're getting close. We're gonna know if he's legal shooter here pretty quick, hopefully, and get one down this morning and have backstrap for lunch. Here we go. So we got good news and we got bad news. The good news is we get to keep hunting. The bad news is he's not legal. We both got him at seven years old. He's right there, but he needs two more years to probably break that nose. It's a gut check, but we just keep pushing. We'll find him. That's all it is. Sometimes you think you got it and you're so close and then you can't stop them. Oh, there's no stop. So I think our play now is walk past these rams and head up into that saddle. All things come to an end, but it's not over yet. This experience has been unbelievable, following these guys around, trying to keep up. And all it takes is like literally just flash and it can happen that quick and then the hunt is on. That was awesome. That was a nice bull. Like he had everything. Didn't have the length of beam, but he's super cool bull. They were right here, 40 yards away. Yeah. for sure. So it's day 10 here at Casey's Hunt. Uh, it's our last day here in the mountains and we haven't found a sheep yet. I mean, it's not over till it's over. I think that sheep should move up high on a day like today and hopefully if they're in this country that we can spot them and make it happen at the 11th hour. We have to keep hard charging right now. It's keeping behind the glass, staying focused, maintaining positive attitude. I didn't expect that the hunting was going to be this difficult as far as finding game. We've covered a pile of country. Casey's maintained an amazing attitude. Couldn't ask for a better hunting partner. Just glass into the bitter end. You know, he's done his part. Um, right now I'm feeling that uh, the pressure is seriously on and uh, I'm just gonna keep, keep pushing right to the end. You know, I wonder how Casey's feeling. You never know what goes on inside another guy's brain, but you know, he's maintained an amazing attitude this whole hunt, so I don't see that changing even on the last day. Believing today without a sheep, I wouldn't be disappointed. No, the adventure's been everything I wanted it to be. Casey's worked so incredibly hard on this trip. I know that he's gonna be disappointed even if he says he's, he's not. I'm sure he came into this hunt. It's a dream hunt for him with, uh, with the goal of harvesting a ram. You know, the goal of a hunting trip is to harvest an animal. And not have that, you came short. I mean, there's a, a little bit that hangs around. We'd all love to see him have gotten that ram. It's been incredible adventure. We've gotten to see grizzly. We've seen lots of goats, caribou, caribou up close, sheep that are just a touch shy, being legal. It's been everything I expected, so, and more. This is the end of it for us, so head back to camp and some stories. Tomorrow it's on an airplane. It's been amazing though. The sun starts to set on the last day and it's, for me it's just really hard. You know, in a lot of ways I feel like I've failed. You, know, you walk away and you go, what could you have done better? Or what should you have done differently? I feel like we've turned it upside down looking for that ram, that ram that we just haven't been able to find. You know, you could say it's hunting and you could blame it on so many different excuses, but really I know we're gonna walk away from this knowing that we gave it all and there's nothing else that we could do about it. And we experienced a true sheep hunt this go around. We worked hard uh, through all the highs, through all the lows and kept pushing and that's, to me, what sheep hunting is about because without overcoming those personal challenges, it's a lot less rewarding. I think we can still take pride in the fact that uh, we really did work hard and gave it everything we had. And we're not walking away empty. I don't look at it like that by any means and we couldn't have asked for to have a better guy along on the trip. Did everything we asked you to do and didn't complain and just kept head down and moving forward. It's absolutely been a pleasure to spend the last 12 days with you and learned a lot about you and your family and it's just been amazing. We're not gonna walk away with a ram in our packs, but I'm gonna walk away with a, a lifetime friend. Carl, you guys have been unbelievable this whole time and, and truly made it a dream hunt for me. I mean, I'll take the laughs and the good times and the pain and everything and it'll be forever. So, thank you.